That was a 570. That was a 570S. Oh, nice. Uh, where was I? Always get distracted. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and today is a day that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. I am down in Surrey in this pretty incredible golf club resort thing and anyway today I've been invited down by McLaren Ascot and McLaren London to test drive some of the sports series range. One of them is coming right now. This is ruining my intro. That was a McLaren 570GT, they've got the 570S and they've got the 540C. I haven't seen a single video on the 540C, so I wanted to put my name down and drive that car, experience it, try and work out the differences between the 570S, which I've already test driven, and I'm going to be driving the brand new 570GT. So before I go out in test drive number one, I'm going to try and summarise my experiences with McLaren in approximately one minute. So first of all, 570S, I was blown away by that car, I thought that the power and the price point was ridiculous and it is arguably voted one of the best entry level supercars that you can buy. I'm going to test that against the 540C and then I drove the 570S back to back with the 650S. I literally didn't know how there could have been a difference between the two cars but it is absolutely night and day. The 650S is definitely more of the Super Series and the 570S is the Sports Series. I still don't understand how McLaren can class these cars as sports cars. They are out and out supercars but the 570 GT is apparently a lot more luxurious and more of a GT cruiser car so I'm going to be putting all of those theories to the test in this video today. So here we go, 540C, my first experience with the 540C and I'm being joined by Tom who is going to show me the ropes in this car but you're also saying that it's not as familiar as some of the other cars. Yeah, we tend to use the we tend to use the higher powered cars on the yeah. track. The 570S is obviously new kid on the block, so that's getting yeah. that's getting a lot of traction at the moment. Yeah, um, and yes. this car is kind of like it's not forgotten about because they are still highly popular. But people tend to hide the fact that it's the 540C over the 570GT. Like even this one's debadged. Yes, exactly. You know, on the bottom sills yeah. where you've got you know, the, the telltale what spec the car. If you yeah. can't tell from the shape. This doesn't even have it. Yeah, yeah. so it's, I don't know. It's gone down the line of being more understated. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a baby 570, and yeah. it, it's gone for the the understated yeah. effect. You know, and it's like 30 brake horsepower less. Yeah, so it's not you know it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna you're not gonna be bored. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a three three point eight liter V8, right? Yeah, yeah. And because now this is going to be a question that I don't know ever you can answer, but. Because it's a 3.8, and I know that some components will be slightly different in the P1 and, and things like this, but surely this is quite an easily tunable engine. Yes. So yeah. you could just. There's plenty of capacity. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, I mean, there's, it's, yeah, there's loads that can be done, and, and, and a lot a lot on the software as well. Yeah, because I did mapping. Nissan GTR is one of the first sort of like proper turbocharged yeah. supercar killers sort of thing, because you could just tune them up to like two. No, I'm saying you could you tune could, this to like I mean, you could but, quite reliably tune. Those things to like, should have like eight, nine hundred horsepower. Yeah, it's mental. Yeah, it's a lot of. There's a lot of capacity for it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, arguably, <laughs> it's yeah. It's nuts. It is. It's still so fast. I mean, you probably really not can't notice the difference. No. I like, mean, arguably it, it is a little bit less punchy, yeah. but it's difficult to judge, isn't it? Did, without data, without having it plugged into that's it. a laptop or something, so just you from, the human, it, from yeah. your human senses, it, it's not clear cut. Yeah. That's it's mental, absolutely mental that this is the entry level, entry level supercar, one of the most accessible supercars. I know McLaren says it's a sports series, but. Yeah, and I remember driving the 570S and randomly, luckily, stumbling across um, a 
Ferrari Enzo. And I posted a picture of the two cars and, and everyone was like, oh, it's much faster than the Enzo. And I was like, that's no, not. I Googled it and it was. <laughs> like, the Ferrari Enzo, like Pinnacle Ferrari back in 04, 05. And now, the sort of entry level McLaren that you can buy that comes with 530 brake horsepower, 565 brake horsepower, there or thereabouts. to both of the cars because obviously people were like well why would you buy the 570s because it's fundamentally a better spent car the styling the styling is much better definitely um, but then the 540c obviously is no slouch and people that do buy the 540c definitely haven't just gone and bought the cheaper one because they can't afford the 570s which is what maybe some people might assume it's worked out quite well actually with the yeah rest. Verdict 540C is fast. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you well, I didn't look down, if you look at the speed you get to, it had time. It's yeah, definitely 70 miles an hour. That's exactly what I hit. Maybe 70 miles. Or to 71. First drive done. We had a bit of an issue with memory cards, however. Uh, that was my first experience with the 540C and I have to say it was a lot better than I was expecting. I think that my perception of this car being the slightly cheaper and underpowered version of the 570S immediately I was just thinking it just wasn't going to be as good or as enjoyable. However, I was totally wrong. This car is absolutely incredible. I thoroughly loved it and I'm going to be telling everyone that is interested to know what my verdict is like on the 540C that it was a very, very, very good experience and it's stupidly quick. Um, but I just think that because of everything that you read on Google um, and through other outlets that everyone focuses on the 570S or the 570GT and everyone forgets about the 540C which is exactly why I wanted to film it today and drive it and experience it. I have to say, absolutely loved it. My massive bag fits quite perfectly. Loads of bags. I generally think you can fit a suitcase in there. Anyway, this is the 570 GT. And this car is what I'm about to drive right now. Tom is already in the car and I'm going to get the Ulfi camera set up, which is in my bag. That would have been a fail. And then we're going to get on the road and I'm going to be experiencing for the first time the 570 GT in purple. Now it is a time for a blast in the 570 GT. It, it, the one thing that I see is extended carbon fiber paddles, bigger paddles. And this is the more refined, slightly more chilled out version of the 570S. Yeah, and I'm glad you used the word slightly there because it's, again, <laughs> it's easy for people to think it's been dulled down too much, but it's not yeah. the case, you know. Yeah. 
certainly from the outside, the profile of the car looks impressive. Yeah. And you've got it's the glass stunning car. roof, the panoramic roof, which is, yeah, yeah which wow. I think is pretty, pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, give it a blast. And you'll feel it's got a bit more poke than the 540 had. Yeah. section of it we did a, a quite a early section of it didn't we yeah. in automatic and in normal mode and it was seventh gear auto cruising yeah. super quiet yeah yeah it was near electric car levels yeah. of noise wasn't it no way roll it tap it down it's interesting how that restarts no. the car it is oh it's just lowering uh, <gasps> yes got it swiftly last time I know I don't it's know what happened straight, right? 570 G I, I prefer the 540C because I can use it better. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more important on this car because it's got a carbon splitter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't want to leave a carbon splitter on the side of the, <laughs> the side of the road. Well, I, I signed the paper to say that I'd pay for any damage as well. Yeah, that's true. So I was not going to tackle that speed bump yeah, without it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I've literally just jumped out of this car. First of all, I found out that this colour is Cobalt Violet. I've found out that that is the colour. It is really, really beautiful. When the sun's not on it, it's quite black. But then when the sun is on it, it like comes out this really, really nice colour. It's, it's quite similar to my t-shirt. I don't really want to um, bring the t-shirt into it. However, drove the 540C first. Absolutely fell in love with that car. I thought that the way that that car handled and the way that it delivered the power and as an experience, it was awesome. Trying to remember what it was like to drive the 570S, I kind of felt that that car was sort of on par or not noticeably different in terms of the power. However, since driving this car, I've now realized that I was totally wrong. There is a difference, as you would expect, because it's 30 grand, but by no means 
is that a rubbish version of any of these cars? So as McLaren Sport Series goes, now that I've driven all of them, which one would I have? I think I'd have the 570 GT because you do get the best of both worlds. You get a lot more leather inside, you get a lot more space, you get the panoramic roof at the back, and it just feels a lot nicer to drive the steering. As David said from Ascot McLaren, it's a lot more fluid. It was the word that I was looking for. The steering is fluid and I absolutely fell in love with it. I could turn that wheel all day long. Um, so in terms of drives, that is it. A huge thank you to McLaren Ascot and McLaren London for inviting me down. I am going to be getting behind the wheel of that properly. That was only a short half an hour drive. I'm going to be going over to the Cotswolds with McLaren over the next two weeks or so. So yes, it is going to be an exciting time to get behind the wheel of the 570 and go on a proper route, take it on some real driving roads. Um, but as a teaser and as a tester goes, it was a very good day. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you've enjoyed the McLaren Sport Series and subscribe if you have haven't already because yes like I said I'm gonna be going somewhere pretty cool with the 570 GT and I'm gonna be testing the 650s again so lots to come I will see you soon thank you for watching cheers guys